Hey guys, welcome to squad Squadcast number three. <laughs> Look at this, we got the whole gang here. And today's topic of conversation, very relevant. Your daily habits in isolation. And we're going to ask the team for their three honest, good habits and three bad habits. So David, three good daily habits that you're doing in isolation. So I, I have habits that I do anyway out of isolation. I think the key to surviving this insane period is sticking to some sort of routine. So <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> that's, good stuff. That's, a good, that's a good habit. <laughs> Waking up is always good. No, uh, I take a turmeric shot every day. Helps with inflammation um, and my injury. So I've continued to do that. I try and meditate every day. That is one thing that I do try and do, but I have to admit I don't do it every day. But when I do do it, I feel the benefits of it massively. So just taking five or 10 minutes just to sit, get back to my breath and sort of, if you wake up in a bad mood, it's just a good way of sort of neutralizing yourself before you go. Um, and then also, I think this could go into a bad habit. I've, I make a coffee every morning. Um, so there are my three, turmeric shot, meditation. Oh, and then coffee. <laughs> Jesus, that's a bad, that's a very bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the leading nicely on the <laughs> Bad habits. Three bad habits. Go on, help us. Making a routine of doing stuff that you don't necessarily need. So caffeine, sometimes I don't need it, but I've got into the habit of having a coffee every morning. That could be seen as the bad one. Um, secondly, another bad habit. I have a habit of sticking my finger in the Biscoff jar. And if I do that too hey! much, that wasn't a euphemism. No innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> Biscoff jar. You double dip? I double dip. I'm the only yeah. one who's out of it. So <laughs> it's a good way of protecting your own jar of biscuit, okay? Anyway, Els, you're going to get your turn in a second. Let me talk now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a third bad habit. <laughs> Excuse me for being interested. <laughs> what, if I double dip my own biscuit? I'm not offering yes. <laughs> Even though it's vegan. Anyway, so there's my second bad habit. And I think the third one, this is this is a... Uh, there's a few all in one. So I've, I've recently become addicted to house party. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's house party? House party is a similar app to what we're on now. Um, yeah, it's just a way for you to communicate with your friends. But somehow I've been roped into something called Quarantings. <laughs> some of Lauren's friends actually have set up an online dating agency through house party and they keep oh. matching me up with women. Now... I'm dating on the regular at the moment, which leads to me having a couple of drinks every night, which leads to me staying up late. And then <laughs> I have a couple of too much drinks to sleep. And then my coffee is needed in the morning. So kind of rolling it all into one. There's me, how I'm surviving isolation. I'm having fun, to be fair. Um, but yeah, good and bad. Amazing. Habits. Amazing what people do at home, isn't it? Any success, by the way, on the, on, on, on the dates? Yeah, it's going all right. Do you ever like kiss the kiss the screen at the end of the night? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that a couple of times. Yeah, Laura jumps in the conversation sometimes. I'm just like that. <laughs> oh dear, help us! I think at that point we need to with or without tongues. <laughs> <laughs> don't answer that, please. Don't Isolation answer that. Gets to you. Mm. Lauren, should we switch over to you then? Um, <laughs> in isolation. Uh, three good habits, swiftly followed by three bad habits. Um, so can everyone hear me, Rob? Okay. Can you hear me, Rob? Yes. Awesome. Um, so I haven't been well for about 10 days. I, I don't know if I've, I've had corona, but I've basically been unable to do any type of structure or any type of fitness. Like usually my daily habits would be getting up, going for a run, um doing stuff getting up early but because i've been unwell i haven't been able to do any of that so i'm going to just go by what i've been for the last 10 days so i'm going to say my first three good habits is i've been getting up and i've been connecting with friends so i've been calling up my friends trying to get some positivity out of them and trying to kind of you know spread you know, good, good energy because I needed that after being unwell. Um, my second good habit is I've been spending more time with my family and going back to basics. So I've been slowing down, sleeping a lot, resting, listening to my body, um, doing colour therapy, um, journaling, 
um, watching Disney movies. Yes, so I've been hitting one. those. I've been hitting plenty of those. <laughs> Have you moved on um, to bad habits then? Yeah, I've got, I've got my bad habits. So my bad habits is because I don't... No, I was saying the Disney movie was a bad habit. Oh, <laughs> to be honest, it is probably a bit of a bad habit because the things I watch just aren't, aren't the best. Um, the, last, the last good habit is I have been... Um, I've been going... To, yeah, I've been sleeping more, just resting more, um, which is good. And then my bad habits have been... I've been, I've been, so basically I don't drink alcohol, but I asked my dad to get me a um, non-alcoholic beer as a treat. So I've been, um, I actually had smoked a cigar and had a non-alcoholic beer one, a couple of nights. <laughs> Jamie's <laughs> out. <laughs> Jamie's <laughs> offended. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the image of that was too much for Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, I'm sorry. I disappointed you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And um, yeah, another bad habit is definitely house parties become addictive for me. I have set up an online dating uh, website online <laughs> on house party with my friends <laughs> to keep me entertained. We've been setting people up, singletons on it. So any singletons, please get in touch. I'll set you up for a little bit of a... Um, <laughs> oh, I've only got good words to say about it. Quarantine <laughs> is amazing. Oh, it's helpless. amazing. you got shares um, in this, have you? <laughs> 100%. It's going to be a new TV show. And also my last bad habit is going to be um, I've been sleeping quite late because of the fact that I've been sleeping all day pretty much. So, yeah, that's it. Nice one. Nice one. Thank you, Lauren. So um, why don't we switch uh, to Jamie, who hopefully is not so offended after hearing what Lauren was getting up to. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You've got three, so you've got three bad. good habits in isolation and three bad ones. Yeah, unfortunately, my phone fell there. I've just rested it on my laptop and it kind of fell over um so for me i've been trying to keep at least some form of routine in the morning i mean i've lost all sense of routine as it is but regardless of what time i wake up i tend to immediately just do bathroom routine um check through all social media and check through all my whatsapp messages and everything else that i need to get done so i can see what i need to do for the rest of the day just so for example like this this zoom meeting today i had to double check that it was at this time um so my morning routine is just basically set myself up for the rest of the day um another good habit i've been trying to do is keep in contact with my close friends um it's been so so because they're quite busy i've been finding that um I realized that there's a lot of communication that's been lost. So it's now a case of using my free time to kind of explore uh, what they're up to and how they're doing. And the last one for me that I've been trying to do is have some form of focus on the day. So I've been scanning through old books and, and going through study material, um, which is something I haven't done for ages just because I used to be so busy. But now that I've got all the spare time in the day to do it, um, I've been pulling out books and using whether it's like 15, 20 minutes, or even half an hour at certain sections throughout the day just to break up the monotony of the day, just to take my mind off how much spare time that I've got and use that to, to some good effect. Um, I've actually got to go through a couple of courses that I have never finished off from years ago that, just getting so busy just became a little bit impossible to get into. Um, so those are probably my, my three, three ones that I've um, tried to stick to. So a good morning routine, get into contact with, with some close friends that I haven't been able to do for quite a while and also just get some form of good effect from, from doing something like studying on a daily basis. Um, bad routines, bad things that I've done. Um, I've really fallen out of routine. So my whole awareness of time is completely thrown off. Mm. So again, like same as Lauren, like I've been going to bed super late, sometimes like three in the morning. And that would just completely throw off my body clock. It did in the first week. And that's why I've tried to set into the good routine to, to get me back out of it. 
Um, I've been procrastinating a lot as well. So a lot of things that I know I can get on with now, I've just left for tomorrow. And I keep doing that. I'm realizing it's a bad habit because I'm starting to see things that are like around my room that I haven't rearranged that I need to get on with. But I know that I've got all the time later today and tomorrow. So I just keep leaving it. And it's becoming a little bit more of an high store than anything. Um, trying to get these, these bits and pieces sorted. Um, and the last thing that I think that perhaps I've been bad with, although I would do what I did say this was a good thing earlier, although I've been checking a lot of WhatsApp messages and um, a lot of emails, I've done the exact same thing. I procrastinated and just not responded. So a lot of things that do with the work, like, I mean, you guys have noticed that I haven't really responded so much on the WhatsApp messages. And I've just been swamped from so many different groups that I've got. And that's something that I need to get back involved with. Um, being a little bit more in contact with the work groups and other people aside from my close friends. Um, I've just kind of fallen off that, that wagon a little bit with, with keeping the communication between myself and a lot of other people that are in my life that are revolved a lot around work and what is entirely my whole day. Um, so those are my bad habits as well, like late sleeping, procrastinating and actually needing to get in some more um, actioning what I'm seeing through the WhatsApp groups and my emails and such. So, yeah, those are my three good and my three bad. Yeah, I can relate to all of those. Actually, yeah. sound very familiar. And I don't blame you for not replying to a lot of our WhatsApps. <laughs> There's a lot of drivel in there. <laughs> There's, a lot, There's a lot of just pictures of dogs, to be honest. Oh, nothing wrong with that. That's good. That's the good stuff. <laughs> Eleanor, let's switch to you. And I'm kind of holding my breath here a little bit. So, the three good ones. Uh, the three good habits and the three bad habits you're doing in isolation. Why are you holding your breath? <laughs> in anticipation of the amazing material to come. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like in a, the amazing like material. Um, so good habit, I'd say. Um, um, definitely like David, I make sure I meditate in some way every day, even if it's just like taking some deep breaths first thing in the morning or sitting in front of a candle or um, doing a sage ceremony, which some of you mm. have uh, already <laughs> been involved in. Just, um, yeah, taking some time to um, come to terms with everything and, you know, be of myself. Um, another habit I think is really helpful to me is when I go outside for my 30 minutes, I um, leave my phone at home and I really try and be outside so I know you're gonna laugh but like I really I like I look at the flowers and the bees and like I look at nature I like really try and kind of drink it in um totally I love that it's quite that? moronic but it's it's just no, totally. it's nice it's great and then, um, my third habit yeah definitely um talking to my family and my friends like uh, with my little fat nieces every day i'm actually not allowed to call one of them fat so <laughs> i was gonna say is that what you called them like, <laughs> that, that never happened <laughs> <laughs> what anyway uh yeah that's those not guys. phat right oh yeah yeah, yeah fat like Fab. thick Fab. exactly <laughs> thick nieces um so those are my good habits I'd say, I don't, I don't believe in the word bad. Um, so I'm just going to caveat this by saying that this is habits that I believe other people would find bad, but I myself don't think they're bad because they make me feel great. Um, so I watch a lot of like shit reality TV. I'm a really big, like Made in Chelsea, X on the Beach, Love Island, like all of that. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, uh, I know a lot of people probably think that's bad, but I love it. So whatever. Totally. I think that's shocking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> second bad habit. You should I see what's think... on my record list as well, by the way, it's kind of half of what she described. <laughs> yeah, Paul, you're always coming at me for my choices. I need to like have five minutes with your choices. <laughs> I want to know. Um, then yeah, 
again, I don't think this is a bad habit at all, but um, I will quite often eat chocolate before I like drink water or do anything else in the morning. That will literally be the first thing I put in my body. In the morning? Uh, yeah. It's not like, like a cutoff time that you're allowed to eat chocolates away. during the nah, day? Nah, like just, just get up and eat some. <laughs> whatever wow and then um my third bad habit is and and this is actually one that i i'm trying to work on so this is like you know binary good bad i open my eyes and before i eat the chocolate i literally reach straight for my phone i'm like mm. <laughs> like first thing Are you lying? I'm like, <laughs> 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 like you have your phone beside the bed yeah um, oh, and I actually really want to start leaving it out of the room or if I end up with it in the room, just when I open my eyes, like maybe just taking five minutes to breathe and not just be like, you know, mates, mum, like, uh, like all the stuff that's, you know, cause you can, you can be social. There's like still eight or nine or however many long, like waking hours in the day where I can be social. I don't think that I need to do it like the minute I wake up. And that's me. Nice one. Not too bad. And you didn't even mention Whitney Houston or any of those other dodgy music things that you uh, That's to. not even good. That's in its own good as here, Whitney Houston's. <laughs> yes. Here. Yes. All right. I think with that, let's, let's move swiftly on. Uh, Tommy. Tommy, three good habits that you do in isolation, three bad habits. Well, so I wrote them down, Paul. I wrote them down. You told us to do our homework and I've got them all here. Some nice structure, my summary here. Numero uno, I'm in bed nice and early every day. Such a little teacher's pet. Every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I've always gone to bed early, to be honest. And the isolation thing is just an excuse to go to bed earlier. So if anything, I'm <laughs> getting earlier and earlier. But yeah, we're in bed by 10 every day. So that's nice always feel nice and fresh the next day bit of a bad habit often cancel that alarm the next day i try and set the alarm every morning sometimes wipe it off i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing sometimes you got to listen to that body and sleep so that's just a side note um exercising every day i have been able to do that every day i think i rested on the, the sunday last week again important to listen to the body but doing these workouts has made me accountable to doing them myself so even if i felt shattered in the morning and then I run one I thought right I need to now go do that or how it normally happens is because I've been running the afternoon classes I've been thinking I need to get energized for this so I'm going to do the workout beforehand at 11 um, and it just puts me in such a better frame of mind to actually then deliver the session because I also then feel good that I've just done it myself um, and I'm not then jealous of the guys on the call <laughs> that are then doing it because I reckon I'd feel a bit jealous if I hadn't done it myself I'd be feeling guilty so yeah, still gonna have to get the exercise in, which is good. And third one is cooking recipes. So I recently signed up with HelloFresh and that's just, it's so easy. I don't know if you guys have done this before, but you just pick some recipes. They literally arrive in a bag with all the ingredients you need, little sheet on how to cook it. And it just means that I've kept structure to what I've been eating as well. I've not been binging too badly. <laughs> David might remember when we lived together, my evening diet would sometimes be horrendous. It, it would often be a Boots meal deal. Just because. I'm starting to think whether he's getting commission from Hello Fresh or not. <laughs> it must be. He's you still have to cook it though, right? Still got to cook it. You still have to do cook it, but it is, it's just easy because it's just in the bag. So it's like, right, this is going to take half an hour, but it's all there. I just get so lazy. I can't be able to go find the ingredients you need, work out what times you have to start getting them in the pan and whatnot. And I've seen it. Tommy eat <laughs> tuna, broccoli, scrambled egg and a slice of bread. <laughs> All at the same time. Say that again. <laughs> so it was like a tin of tuna, scrambled eggs, broccoli, a bit of bread, and then ketchup squirted all over it. Oh, I'm writing it down. That's a good one. I forgot about that one. Thanks, that doesn't David. Doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I'm sure that's not a Hello Fresh uh, menu. <laughs> so, sorry. sorry, guys. I'm back in. I don't know what happened. It just literally. Uh, I don't. Lauren, you missed out on the best recipe in the world. I'll, I'll send it over to you. Lauren <laughs> Um, I missed everything. I was so confused. It just went literally silent, but I got it back. Oh, not to worry. You, you can get it on catch up. You won't miss out on yeah. habits. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah. my bad Five ones, plus. though, start with a food one. I'm always eating a sweet thing at the end of 
a lunch and a dinner at the moment. I literally can't help it. I'm straight into the little cookie jar. Can't help it every time. You or do my have baby. a cookie jar. We got a little biscuit tin. My mum gave it to me once with a cake oh, in it. And nice. kept it. It's not a bad habit, Tommy. It's not a bad habit. But those energy spikes we talked about yesterday, I find I keep... <laughs> That's if you have like loads. If you just have a little yeah, something no. sweet, there's no, a no issue. I have a couple. A couple is fine. That's the disc off, David. The worst comes, look, at the end of the day, we're all going to be in stuck here for three months. Is, so is that biscuit off? I felt judged because I was fingering it, so I've got a teaspoon this time. You're <laughs> <laughs> going very posh. Carry on, Tommy. Uh, okay, number two. I've, oh, I need to start changing my clothes. The other day, I did the morning workout, and I was still in that sweaty gear. I was thinking I was chatting to David and Paul at 5 p.m. <laughs> I was still in the same gear. And then day after day, I'm still wearing this god-awful West Ham tracksuit that I hate. I've got the trousers on now. I'm just wearing the same stuff over and over, which I think is pretty dirty. God help us. I said earlier, thank God smell doesn't come through this video conference. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think I'm lost Are you really smell. comfy and cosy? I am. Well, then it's not a bad habit. No, but I don't like West Ham. It's really weird. Hmm? Definitely bad hygiene. Pretty bad yeah. hygiene. Okay, anyway, wrapping up because I've been rambling for ages. I've stopped listening to music and I've stopped listening to my audiobooks. I used to do that a lot on my commutes or going for runs and stuff. And obviously, we can still go for runs, but because things have been limited, I realized when I stopped listening to music, it gets my mood down. I, I need to make an active reminder to get music on in the day because it just lifts, lifts a room for me. But there we are. Agreed. They're my sins. Agreed. Absolutely. Good one, Tommy. Thanks for that. I guess I better. Um, yeah. The good habits that I'm doing, um, six days a week I'm doing the online workouts with uh, the team here, um, the F45 workouts, which are, which are amazing. We cleared a bit of space in our living room and so we're doing the workouts. And the good thing for me is that's a routine, uh, eight o'clock in the morning. So. Um, which goes into the second good habit, that that does provide a good routine. So specifically, uh, I need to wake up in good time to get myself prepared and to eat something in time so it's digested before I do the workout for the day. So I need to get up uh, at a regular time. I need to go to bed at a regular time um, so I can get a good sleep. And um, because you guys can see me, over the video camera, you know, I need to be at good performance so you guys don't take the mickey out of me. So I need to get some good rest and recovery. So I need to go to bed even earlier than what Tommy would describe and get my rest and recovery. Um, and that also just gives me total structure. It also forces me to eat a bit properly as well, because if I eat rubbish, if I eat all the biscuits and biscoffs and chocolate and all that kind of stuff, uh, I'm going to suck at the workout uh, the next morning. So it also keeps me regular with some decent food and hydration through the day as well. Um, and that's the other third one is uh, getting to bed on time and making sure I get some good regular sleep. For me, if I go to bed late or if I wake up late, um, completely knocks me out of kilter. So the hour went forward on Sunday and that totally threw me. It was, I haven't jet, um, it was a bit like having jet lag for a day or two. Um, so when I go to bed on a regular basis and I wake up on a regular basis, that keeps me very regular and very sane for the rest of the day and sets me up for a good productive day. So those are the good habits Ooh. that I'm doing in isolation. Bad habits, uh, let's start with the serious one first of all. So while I'm doing all these workouts at home, particularly the resistance ones, um, I started really getting a bit more into protein shakes and I have a Nutribullet at home and um, I'll blitz it up with a bit of avocado or a bit of fruit so you know it gets a bit more thick and a bit more kind of uh, frothy and as tasty as it is I hate the fact that when you do it you know around the blades at the top when you unscrew it that when you pour it into um, a jar or something to eat it you get all that nice bit that's kind of left over so I like to lick Blades. <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> Which is probably a bad habit. I mean, it's, it's good and you don't like As long to as it's it. not plugged in, I think you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Although I'm not sure my wife would mind if I took him off and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> so that was the first uh, serious one. 
second I'm one. Serious. Um, <laughs> Second oh, you know, one. if you like poured a tablespoon of like water or almond milk, shook it, and then just added it like back into your OG. I like it. I like it thick. I like it thick. It would still be thick. You just wouldn't cut your tongue. I wouldn't cut my tongue. I shall try that tomorrow. Let me try that. <laughs> Thanks, Elmo. It's okay. The second, the second bad habit I have is watching the news. And it's a bad habit, and it's like a, it's like a niche that just keeps scratching. Mm. Like, why do I watch the news? Because it's all bad news. And the news, you know, the news companies are, are paid to, to promote that like, bad stuff so that we all come and watch it. And they always take the worst case scenario. And the more news that I watch, the more depressed that I get, and the more I think that the world's coming to an end. And obviously it isn't. Um, so I really need to stop watching the news so much. It's, it's, it's a terribly bad habit. So I am trying mm. to stop doing that. But it's hard as the TV's right in front of me. And just need to turn it off. And the third bad habit that I have, and God forbid that this doesn't continue, but in isolation, uh, I sneak out twice a day, take the dogs for a walk. Um, and if anyone's coming in the other direction that we're walking or running even worse, um, I walk like huge big circle around them, much more than two meters and petrified of getting too close to them. Like it's so bad, isn't it? Like in isolation. Is it for your benefit or theirs? Well, quite. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Both, actually. There's no way to continue. And I feel so bad as a human being that that's what I'm becoming. And I so hope that that is a habit that I will not continue once we're back to normal, which mm -hmm. I hope is sooner rather than later. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with being conscientious about your health. In no, but it's times. mankind and, and uh, a humane human being. I think it's an awful thing to be doing, but needs must. I still think it's a bad habit. There you go. I, I think the uh, the first one was the funnier one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to forget that. <laughs> Perhaps I need to write into Nutribullet and ask them to make the blades like with rubber. Um, <laughs> for people like me. So there you have it. Squadcast uh, number three, your daily habits, uh, the good ones and the bad ones. And for those watching, take your pick and learn from whatever you like. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Doodle. Bye. 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 Bye